Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. I'm using a brand new camera today. I think it looks quite good. Hello, everyone. Hey, yo. Which camera? Um, I am using the Sony a7 IV today. It's a very nice camera. Uh, it's probably too nice for my uses. Um, but it is, I'm shooting in like, I, I, I have it set up for uh, 4K, which I was told by somebody that even if my camera is set up for 4K, and I'm not shooting in 4K, and it's got an HDMI out to the computer that will actually get a better image overall. Better than 1080p, even if, you know, the streaming software that I'm using, which is StreamYard, it only goes up to 1080p, so um, battery life is amazing. Hello, everyone. Got some water here today. Hello, Dylan. Basic Vertigo. Fighting Dice. Daniel. You use F. J Pen. Hope everybody's doing well. All right, let's dive right in. I have this amazing Atomo Complete Works book. This thing is so dope. I thought that it was going to be something that maybe I had already had. I have an animation book here. If I can find it. Akira Animation Archives. I got this in Japan a long time ago. This book I got a long time ago. Um, has a bunch of animation stills in it. It is beautiful. It's also like matte, which is really nice. It's just really, it's really cool. Oh, I got some background stuff here, background paintings. It's like so gorgeous. But, hold on, I'm gonna put this back on my shelf because when I pull things out for this show, I put it to the side and it never gets put back. So I'm trying to be more intentional about piecing my workspace back together after the fact. This is actually uh, stills that are like at scale. I don't know if this is exactly the size they drew them, but it is great. It's like very gestural Otomo. These are his like pencil drawings. I, I'm not sure, maybe before it went to. So this, like this image is definitely in the book I just showed you. Uh, but it's like way bigger here. It's so awesome. Let me see if... Yeah, check this out. So... Got one step, two step, three step. How awesome is that? Sorry, it's a little dark, but if I adjust my my lights anymore, the lens will be. So they have these official stills, but then they also have these like they have the oh like and like. Oh gosh, let's see. There it is. So there's the 
in an actual cell with like an overlay on it, which is so cool. You can see like the paint that like went to the edge. It's almost like it's an original, you know? Um, and then like you can see like, I love that, you know, when they paint outside, you can see the human brush strokes. I think that's beautiful. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, here's the, uh, the kids' playroom. So cool. Um, this is a really nice drawing. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Super inspiring, super cool. Look at this. Oh, oh, just gorgeous. Got a sticker here. Oof, look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> Oh, they have the scene of him kicking the guy on the bike. Just beautiful stuff. Money well spent, let me tell you. And I know there there are people in the chat asking where I got this. Don't worry, I shall tell you. Okay, so uh, where did I get this? I will tell you. If you go to Amazon.jp, you can set up an account uh, on Amazon Japan. Uh, you just enter in your email, you enter in your address, and then you pay for DHL shipping. So it costs, you know, it costs money to ship, but it's not crazy. And it get it, this. I ordered this last week. It got here in like seven days. Um, and it was like 60, 70 bucks. And it like, you know, it's it the the price is in yen, but when you go to pay for it, it will can it'll like give you just what it costs in dollars and you just pay. Um, and there is a section of the Amazon Japan website which has an English button, you can press the English button. And uh, I mean, for the most part, you can navigate your way. You can use the search bar. Otomo, the complete works, number 23. Um, this thing is incredible. It's like, I don't know, it's like a box of inspiration. It is so, 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 so cool. It's just so nice to see his drawings big like this, you know? It's like so nice and gestural. They breathe so well. And they're, they're big, like in the animation book that I have before, they're they're very tiny. And I'm pretty sure he was drawing them at like this scale about. Um, so there we have it, Akira, Atoma, the complete works. Get yourself one. It's You work hard, treat yourself. It was like 60, 70 bucks, and I cannot like, this is like in money incredibly well spent. I will never sell this. I'll never get rid of it. It will travel with me till the day I die all over wherever I go. Fantastic. Also, since we're talking about Akira, Atomo, I have his other books here too. I have, um, I, I'm kind of collecting all of them because once these go out of print, Lord knows how much they're going to cost. And
these are the complete works of some of his earlier stuff, which not everybody knows about. Um, definitely has not been translated in the States. Um, I believe that this one was a gift from Absurd 13. Thank you, Absurd 13. You got this for me. Um, just beautiful stuff. Way looser than uh, I think what, you know, maybe Otomo is known for. But he was growing. You know, look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to have to put that on the sketchbook. They each come with a sticker, and it's like one of the best parts. <laughs> Yeah, so like really Lucy Goose, really cool. Um, here it's a little tighter. Great cab over truck there. Yeah, just really, really beautiful stuff. Um, I've been teaching myself Japanese with uh, Duolingo. So I'm, I'm starting to be able to get some of the stuff um, not all of it, a lot of katakana, um, that's, that's the, that's N, N, <laughs> Su, I know that's Su, U, oh gosh, not like, uh, I actually know, oh, so like, here's katakana, right, this is Ta, Su, Su, Ta, uh, Ha, oh, it says highway star, so, but this is the word for ha, that's e, highway, 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 suta, high, high, highway, highway, suta. I know I'm cheating because it says that here, but I know that's ha, I know that's e, I know that's wa. Highway, highway, high. Sorry, oh my god. You guys don't want to hear me practice my Japanese on this. <laughs> Xavier's killing me. <laughs> yeah. Hi, hi, way suta. Highway suta. There's no star, sta in Japanese. It's suta. Like star screen. Suta su kirimu. Yeah, I am becoming a weeb. I am a nerd. What can I say? I'm trying to better myself. I'm also trying to get better at my Spanish. Yes. So, two, three, four. Let me just put my books back. Being disciplined. Okay. Gosh, well, let me get my sketchbook. I'm gonna be working my sketchbook a little bit tonight. Uh, I do have Domo, Carlos. I just didn't pull it out. Okay, uh, what am I doing here? Um, oh, I wanted to show you. So a few weeks ago, do you remember that we were hanging out and I was trying to draw headgear and um, it wasn't going so well. And then I was like, maybe I'll try to just like fudge around with some paint or whatever. And I did. And uh, it was a complete failure. And I remember I said I was going to try and rescue it. Well, I feel like I rescued it. I think this looks really cool. 
Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I just kind of like took some time with my acrylic wash over the weekend. This is a few weekends ago. And I made this like cool night character and it's some Posca markers and stuff and some white out. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever going to use this design, but I really love it. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it looks awesome, right? Thank you. Thank you, everyone. The comments are very much appreciated. Um, I rescued it. I pulled it out from the brink. Um, yeah, the gold is with a gold postcard marker. I was just like playing around, just trying to rescue it. And uh, I love the way it looks. I'm like so happy. And then I like kind of pulled this sketchbook out of the brink, you know. Let's see if I can show you anything else. Oh, okay, here's a little John Wick action that I have not finished. And I, I doubt I'll finish, but I like it. Yes, Elden Ring vibes for sure, man. Uh, here's some Optimus Prime and Space Mullet stuff that I was doing. Some acrylic gouache Optimus Prime. Drawing a lot of Optimus Prime lately. Don't know why. Um, here's some more stuff. I was practicing my cars, trying to practice cars uh, at the local my local pho place that we like to go looks really good um, here's uh me trying to pronounce uh, practice my name <laughs> more japanese danieru danieru Oden jionson let's see if i can get anything else oh we, we were we we did this i don't know was it last week Add a little color there. Uh, here's some more, just for fun, Transformer stuff. Suta Sukurimaro. Suta Sukurimu. Suta Scream. Yeah. Accept that. Thank you, Tomic Card. <laughs> I'm, I'm like... Not very good. I'm not good at all. I'm learning. Uh, but I also want to respect... I, I want to respect the... Um, I want to respect the language. I want to do it justice. All right. No secret car project. I'm just always trying to get better at cars because I am bad at them. So today, I have to... Um, I've, I've got this illustration coming up that I can't necessarily say what it is, but I'm kind of working through some concepts. Um, it's kind of like a sword and sorcery in space kind of vibe, kind of sci-fi. Um, it's like, it's kind of like Conan, but like, like space Conan with a fire sword. And like, that's kind of the, that's, that's kind of the prompt. So I, you know, I'm, 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 I've, I've done a few sketches of him before, but there's secret stuff on them. So I don't want you to read that, but this is what I've kind of done so far. I've actually kind of done a little play on that character that I would design before in the woods. Like, kind of almost like a hammerhead vibe to his uh, helmet. I'm not sure if this works. Anyway, so this is kind of where I started. Oh, is it? In, is it? Is it? In, uh... Sorry, the stream is getting a little. It's getting a little choppy. I think that might be because Rachel closed the door. 
to my studio. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Thanks, Tomic. Oh, sorry. All right, so... So, so that's kind of where I'm starting from. That's like my my kind of like starting point, and I uh, I need to like flesh it out and see if it actually works. And so. Okay, I think I need to be looser. I'm going too small too early here. And I might use one of the pens that I was showing off last week. Tomic Art, you can you can bring me your sketchbook. That'd be that'd be cool. Okay, let's see. Elias, am I open to doing a Transformers comic? I don't know if it was the right fit. I do love drawing them, though. Sorry, my my uh, Fiona is having a bit of a tough evening, and I can't close the door because then my internet starts pooping out. Oh, what are my thoughts on AI art going on? Oh, I mean, AR is terrible. It's, it's, I think it is, it is going to be part of the future, which is, it makes me really sad. Um, now that something like that's been kind of invented, it can't like be uninvented. So I'm not sure what the future holds, but I, I am very worried. So. But, you know, maybe I'll be put out of a job someday, and I really hope that doesn't happen. Maybe I'll be put out of a job next year. I don't think so, but you never say never. There's a purity in putting line to paper. And if anything, it makes me more appreciative of art that has not been done by a master yet, which I think is special people who are just trying their best to make their art better. You know, there's a beauty in the imperfection and a lot of the AI art that I've seen is very pretty and very kind of like, you know, epic 
sci-fi or like it's um it's like poster art you know and uh one thing i think that ai art is going to have a hard time with is the quiet quiet things like the things that are subtle subtlety um of course computers get better at everything all the time another thing that gives me a little hope is you know if you tell somebody you can hang two paintings on your wall one is done by an ai one is done by a human and if they're of the same varying quality right like give or take I have a hard time believing that the common non-artist person would want something on their wall that's done by another person. Who knows? I mean, I, I guess I could be wrong. Um, you know, maybe maybe it won't catch on, but I mean, AI art, AI everything is starting to happen. Like, you know, there's like AI programs that are like, you know, writing essays on their own, you know, that are writing stories on their own. You know, it it's kind of changing. I think it's going to change the way we as humans work again, as technology does. And, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And, you know, I think there's going to be, like, people out there, a lot of people who are going to be like, I don't want to read a comic done by an AI art. I want it done by a human. Um, but I don't know if that, if that, I don't know if that's enough to, you know, have big companies not use AI art because it's cheaper, you know. All this, though, take it with a grain of salt. Because I hope I'm wrong. I really do. And I, but I, I, ref, I refuse to freak out about it. What happens will happen. I have too much on my plate. I have too much. I have too many stories that I want to tell and tell them tell well. I can't control the uncontrollable. I can only control me. This is my mantra. <laughs> Skynet, yeah, for real, dude. Thanks, my kid. I like this pen too. It is the uh, Uniball Air. This guy does not miss chest day. You said it. I hope so too, Naved. I think at the very least, I would put money on this at least. I think at the very least, there is going to be an audience that only wants to engage in visual art that is made by actual humans. I think that there's going to be 
I think I, I, I think it's still going to be appreciated, if not by everyone. I, I think that I think that there will still be people out there that want art done by artists. Yeah, I mean, like, and maybe I'm biased because, um, yeah, especially in comics, yeah. Also, like, something, you know, if anything, I think comics are, like, a little safer than, like, I think where it's, like, really going to change quickly is, like, concept art and, you know, kind of, like, production art in that sense, which... You know, I don't really do. Um, I think, if anything, comics are... They're definitely not AI-proof at all, but... It is really hard to do, to get, like... Because it's, it's... And somebody said something in here, like, come on, I just started my career in the industry. I have vision. And I think that there's something to that. I think that what AI art lacks right now... And I'm not trying to make myself self feel better, because I'm still scared. It's still crazy, but you can't, there are so many artists out in the world that can make like the most bomb ass images in the whole world. Pardon my language. Right. Or like, sorry, when I, the most detailed, not bomb ass, the most detailed, the most like technically correct, the most like perfect composition. And it still does nothing. It's like, it's like not exciting. Just because you're good at something, just because you're, you're just because you're good at like drawing representational art and mastering that part of the craft, doesn't mean that you can sell an image in a way that can pull people in. It's like um, somebody who can play like scales on a guitar like crazy, crazy, crazy fast, but at the end of the day, can they write a song like the Beatles? No. Um, and I think there's something to be said about you know having a vision it's like it's not just about being able to direct a computer to make something it's about being able to make a computer direct the right thing and you're not just developing your hand and eye coordination when you're making lines you're developing vision a division that is solely yours and if if you know i'm not trying to put anybody down but like if someone is using ai art and you know they don't just have to i mean they can make a cool image but does the image have vision does it have does it you know it's like it's almost like trying to find the vision before you have a vision right like the ai art can't give somebody a vision it can just give you images and comics is like 100 percent vision the story the concept the concepts the camera choices the moment of impact it's not just about drawing a cool, somebody getting kicked in the face really cool. It's about how you draw it. And you have to be able to see it first before you ask for it, whether it's your own body or an AI image. Anyway, that's just, that's just my opinion. Who knows? Scott, I think you're right. Um, I know, like, for me, like, I don't want to read a novel by a computer. I want to read a novel by a, a human. Um, it's important to me. I want something that is genuine. <laughs> Excuse me. I've had like a runny nose all week, but I do not have a cold. Two, 
I guess I'm trying. I'm talking to my my, my bud in the bed over here. You know, I get I get that stress, man. It's like, is it worth it keep to try and do comics, to do art? And yes, it is. It totally is. Because at the end of the day, AI art can't stop us from actually just drawing and like. There's a joy to this. I'm having so much fun right now. I'm just goofing off drawing like some space Conan warrior dude. Like, I know this is my job and I know I'm getting paid for it, but like, I'm actually not really even getting paid for this. This is fun. Um, and I have like, look, I know I'm speaking from a place of privilege here and maybe I'm just, you know, proselytizing too much and I should stop talking, but I'll say one more thing about it and then I will stop. Like, I've loved drawing since, I don't know, first grade. Like, it's all I would do. Draw, 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 draw. Every day, I'd get up, and I'd try and draw Optimus Prime. This is like in second grade. And I couldn't do it. And I'd cry. Because <laughs> I couldn't draw Optimus Prime, right? The next day, I'd wake up after school, come home, try and draw Optimus Prime. And I'd cry again, because I couldn't get it. Every day, for like a whole freaking year, I tried to draw Optimus Prime. I couldn't get it. And it was like this brutal <laughs> experience as a child. Like I knew what I wanted to see. I knew I, I had the vision. I was like, I know what I want to see, but my hand and my brain cannot make it happen. <laughs> it's been years. It's been years of me trying to draw Optimus Prime like the right way, making it look cool. And it wasn't for years and years and years until I finally was able to like draw it in a way that like felt good. It was part of me growing up, part of me becoming a bigger, more advanced human. And like my art journey has like matched my human journey my whole life. And so I can't live and not draw. And that shows, I mean, before I was getting paid for this, I've got. Yeah gosh 15 16 volumes i don't remember actually when i started working in comics and actually let me look i have all the sketchbooks here hold on hold on hold on one sec everyone i'm looking at my sketchbooks right now all right volume 12 This is 2013. Uh, what is volume? Volume. Volume 17, 14, 13. Here's volume 9, 10. Here's volume 10, 2013. I have I have about 10 volumes of sketchbooks that I've done. Sorry, I thought it was more, but of art that I was doing before I was getting paid for it. And uh, it's a it was it's it's a struggle, and it's a joy to make images. Even and it's worthwhile, even if nobody else sees them. I mean, there is a purity in putting lines on paper and like making stuff, whether it's shared or not. And uh, I don't know. So there's there's nothing that can take that away. There's nothing that can take away from the joy of finally getting that Optimus Prime correct after years of trying to get it right. There, okay. My, my sermon is over. My apologies. Well, I think this is pretty cool. (laughs) 
Let's hope, Scott. Let us hope. Anything worth doing, learning, and making is a struggle, and that struggle is worth it. It's part of the journey. It's part of the art. Amen. Amen. All right, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and transfer this. This is, what, this is like what design work is for me. Try and transfer this energy over here to something like a little closer. Sorry, guys. My kid is very whiny tonight. <laughs> I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it. Oh, thanks, David. Vincent, this is a character that I am trying to design for an upcoming illustration project. And I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out because it's kind of tough.
Oh, sorry, I'm drawing this off the paper. A special raptor, this is actually something different. Oh, we have a, a Tomo question. Brooke, I got them from the um, Atomo Complete Works books, which you can get on Amazon Japan. What usually comes first, character designs or story? With things like Extremity, that was definitely character designs. With Murder Falcon and Do a Power Bomb, that was definitely more. Um, that was definitely more, sorry, uh, blah, 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 definitely more story first, and then the character designs came after. He's a, he's not really either. It's just like a one-off illustration, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can kind of see how I've kind of... Oh my goodness, Fiona, come on. trying to get like the essence of it oh a cape question do you have any tips on how to draw capes flowing in the wind all cool like you do i do have a tip a very functional very easy tip i have a cape that i use <laughs> it's got a metal kind of like it's got metal all around the edge here. I bought it from like a custom cape maker. They, they're all over. I don't remember the name of this person, but, and I'll just like, you know, crumple it up and I'll, and I'll just draw it. <laughs> ref cape <laughs> yeah i'm really into this um i also had trouble with it because like for the past year for, for most of my drawing life i've just wh whiffed it with capes and i try and like look up images of like epic cape flowing and i'll get like just really bad drawings of superman you know <laughs> um there's not a lot of cape reference out there on the internet so i just bought myself a cape uh, and it works it works great Okay, so just trying to introduce an, an element of more sci-fi-iness to this design. Uh, 
because it's like reading very fantasy to me right now. It really doesn't work from the side profile. Ugh. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to get discouraged. I'm just going to keep finding it. Daredevil or Dare Daredevil, thank thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for saying sharing that. Thank you for buying it. For real. It means so much. I like this a lot. I like how I have a tendency to do this a lot in my designs. I'm trying not to repeat myself, so let's see if we can. Bye, Dylan. What if it was more like this? Because this shape is like, I don't love this shape. What if it was a little bit more like, a, like not quite antlers, but like something that maybe could have been, could be interpreted as kind of organic like antlers, you know? Yeah, it's like an antler, but like, uh, it's like an antler, but like, all right, I'm going to just do the silhouette here. Thank you. 
You're welcome, Konami Code. Congratulations. Where'd my whiteout go? Gosh darn it. Oh, here it is. This looks pretty cool. Thorn branch. Yeah, like kind of like a thorn branch. Oh, for this this whiteout, Nevada is just presto, jumbo correction pen. Nothing special. This uh, don't smell this too hard. You'll be going into outer space. Definitely not acid free. Definitely not archival, but it does the job. Okay, I think I like this. This is awesome. Look at this pose. This is freaking sick. Oh, oh, shoot, my battery's almost out. Hold on, I have a new, I have a new uh, mechanism here. I think. Hold on. I f okay, I just plugged it in. I don't have to rely on battery life anymore. I can just plug it in. Hey, 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 look at this. I think this looks pretty darn cool. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a little more of a like a, like a, like a, a more of an like an official drawing of him really fast because Oh, we're like getting to the halfway point. We might be over the halfway point. And I started this in no late November. I'm, I'm crushing these sketchbooks lately. Feels good. All right. Let's see if we can.
I don't like this arm. I to fix it. I have to go soon. This dude does not have a name. Kyle, um, I draw a lot. Um, I take this with me literally wherever I go. Uh, my wife makes fun of me because we'll be on like a family walk and I'll like just take my sketchbook just in case. Thank you, Richard. That's very nice. <laughs> Nope, we're not drawing feet because I just want to win. Sometimes you just got to avoid the feet to get a win. Something's not right with that arm. Oh, and I have to go soon. Oh. Yeah, 
This arm is way too long. This arm is killing me. All right, enough of this. I'm going to start inking. Vincent, sometimes I do that, but not all the time. Sometimes I won't really necessarily look at it when I'm designing new characters, but if I... But if I'm stuck on something, or if I'm stuck on a certain character, then yes, I will. Oh, uh, what's that? Um, a Christmas tree. It's like a light up Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. How are you to see some when we turned our lights off? Come see. Want to see it, Dad? I do want to see it. Come um, on. Give me a second, okay? And when the lights are turned off, it's a show. I haven't finished that cat piece yet. I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta get that done. Christmas is fast approaching. What day does Christmas fall on this year? Sunday.
God, I got it. Okay. Someday, someday. Hi, E.D. Oh, thanks, Brady. Almost done. I'm running late. I'm sure Rachel is not happy with me right now, but
I just need like a little bit of water. Be right back, guys. Well, it's time for me to get going. This has been really fun. Great stream. Thanks, everybody, for making a special. Just got to get some blood on this guy. Um, yeah, gotta go. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Thank you for all your amazing support. Thanks for all the great questions. Great stream today. Feeling good. Best drawing of the day. Uh, this is really fun. I'm all messy now, just like I, the way I should be on a Friday night. Um, please do me a favor and like the video before you go, if you don't mind. I think it helps with views like after the fact. Um, that would uh, really help me out a lot. And um, yeah, I think that's it. If you don't mind, if if uh, I'm trying to get more subscribers, I'm trying to get to 10,000. It's not a big deal. But if you're talking with some of your friends or whatever, hanging out at the coffee shop, later today uh and they like art and they like comics mention my channel because i feel like this is a really i'm really trying to make this like a positive thing i want to share it with as many people as possible and i really don't want to do that like the the run and gun kind of like youtuber kind of vibe like like and subscribe and play all the games i just don't want to do it i just want to keep it real so word of mouth is appreciated hope that makes sense i'll see you next week it won't be Christmas Eve, but it'll be very close to Christmas. I think I'll be in Massachusetts, actually. <clears throat> We're flying to Massachusetts on Thursday to visit my family. Maybe my dad will make a cameo. You never know. Peace, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Have a wonderful weekend.